<laughs> oh, good morning, everyone. It is 3.25. We're getting up early today. We're starting real, real early because the weather is so bloody good. I just checked the live winds. Zero knots. It is still as anything. The boys are meant to be here at four o'clock, no later, we're leaving. We need to make it to the boat ramp tired because it's a dead low at like six o'clock and I can't launch the beast in at anything lower than 0.8 on the tide. Today, I thought I'm just gonna pretty much film everything from start right now to finish. Pretty much only got like, <laughs> like two or three hours sleep last night. If anyone that knows me knows that I do not sleep much, which is uh, as good and as bad. But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some breakfast and the boys should be here in the next 10, 15. I packed the boat last night. All right, we gotta go wake Strider up. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Come on. Oh. <laughs> We're going to the boat. Oh, it's dark, dark. Yes, there is no wind. There she is. I smell myself a smoothie. Next step is I gotta get all my GoPros, the food and all the stuff ready and put it in the boat. Oh. Man, it is so bloody nice. Good morning. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> He's still asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. You're the first one here, D-Man. I that's the first time ever. Eh? I reckon what I'm going to do is whoever rocks up first today is the order that you go in the water. So you're first in. Yes. 3.55. I think a couple of my boys are here. But we're about to go. Five minute warning. And we're out of here. I thought I was going to miss the tide. Hi. Hello. Ooh. In the truck, all the boys are on time. So that's a good start. And we're just going. It's full moon tonight. Oh, the big boomer. Hey, mate. <laughs> Let's go at the boat ramp. All right. We are ready. So the problem we might have is that it's super low tide and uh, the wheels can go off the end of the ramp. So I've got some boys down there and hopefully they'll stop the trailer wheels before they go off the edge of the ramp. And if that happens, we're absolutely doomed. Two meters, slow it down a meter. Yeah, you've got, you got a foot. Um, you start the engine down in case they roll, but I'll roll back. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> yes, that was the sketchiest launch ever. Do not go back. Yeah, Jacko. Woo! <laughs> that was millimeter perfect. <laughs> Holy shit. I think the truck, the trailer, the trailer almost went over the edge, right? Yeah. It like was, that. It was on it. Oh, we did it, but. We oh, set a new shit. minimum low tide. What's this water look like? Oh, it's so shallow. <laughs> Little baddie. This is going to be cool on the way out, this torch. Whoever's at the front, we gotta see. Look at that little long tong. You want me to shut this? <laughs> it is black. 
dark as dark. Check out at the front there with the spotlight, looking for stuff. We've been traveling an hour and a half, roughly about that. And we're probably about the halfway point right now and that sun is just coming up. It's 5.30 in the morning and it is absolutely beautiful out here. No wind at all. Oh, there is a full moon as well, but it's just tucked behind a cloud over there. Look at that. It's ridiculous. That sunrise just keeps getting better and better, but we're only halfway, so we've got another hour steam, I reckon. Straight out into the middle of nowhere, and uh, it's time to do it. On our way out, we just went over a bit of fishing ground, so the boys are dropping some jigs down real quick. Maybe get one or two fish on the board. The best time to normally fish is as the sun's rising or the sun's setting. That's what we found out here. So we'll just see what happens. Oh, yeah, drop them now. Oh. I'm joking. Uh, we didn't have any luck on the jig. Just had two drops. And uh, it's time to get out wide and see if we can smack a big wahoo. I don't even know if I told you guys the plan yet. So. A couple of weeks ago I got that wahoo right out wide in one of the episodes and the boys didn't really get a chance to put a spear in one so we're back out there today. The weather is meant to be absolutely beautiful all day. So we're punching up 50, 60 nautical miles straight offshore. Hopefully it's blue and hopefully the wahoo are on. Alright, let's get out there. Bloody mission that was. It's quarter to seven. We left at just past four this morning. So it's a big punch out here, but it's all worth it when you hop in and if it's blue and the fish are on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna gear up right now, suit up, uh, steam over to the spot. I'll sand around the ground a bit, see if I can pick up the fish. And uh, Sam's first boaty, cause he was last at the house. Damn it. That will teach him. Um, D-man's first, you get first shot D-man. Who was second? Who was then Jacko, then Jared, and I'm gonna be the camera boy today. Which is fine by me. So, uh, obviously, we sort of make a few rules just for safety one, and then so we know who's actually gonna shoot the fish, who's got the belt reel on. But if a wahoo does come close to the boys and the other boys don't have opportunity to shoot it, so of course they can shoot it. But the idea is to really watch each other's back out here because it's 122 metres of water. Um, there's lots of sharks, lots of open water. So one down, two up, watching all the time. And we have a pretty good system and we found that that works the best. And also second shots on fish work really good out here just to get them up and out of the way from the sharks. As Bodie, you come over, as soon as the guns go off, you want to be on top of the boys, kicking up a bit of bubbles and stuff to spook the sharks. And uh, that's about it. Let's get this bread. Let's get this bread. Put my noggin right in front of the camera. A little gear run down here for out the deep blue. We're using Jacko's 1400 just for the range because a lot of the time the fish look closer than what they are when it's so blue and you can fire a blank. Isn't that right, D man? <laughs> Who's got the YBS mask, GoPro? Probably one of the most important things out here is the knife. If anything goes wrong, you can just cut free and we have the spare belt reel. So when D-Man's about to pump a big wahoo and he gets smoked. Moment of truth. And uh, we'll go put the boys on the spot. We'll hop in and hopefully something happens because there's a long, long way to come out here. Hammerheads, bull sharks, rainbow runners, the normal. That's what Jackson just said. Like Go ahead, Get in there.
All right, Strider, come here. Come on. Well, it was a beautiful drift. Tuna, Trebelli, Barracuda, so many sharks, but. Um, and then one big wahoo come from Big T-Man shot short. And then another big wahoo come through all lit up. Nephos and Jared was down. Um, Jared got a shot on it. Absolutely went off and I think it ripped out. But it was um, it was a shot where that, that fish will survive, I reckon. It was pretty, pretty really low at the back. So it'll just rip a bit of meat off and that'll regrow. Cool. So we'll reset and try again. Round two, let's get them. Yes, ox. <sighs> Happy yeah, man? That felt good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pumped it too. Let's put it to sleep. That's what we come all the way out here for. That was, oh, that was thick. That was okay. I reckon we just redo that again. How many drifts is that? That was three. Three? Yeah. All right, third drift. Jared got himself a beautiful wahoo. And actually a big school come in then, probably about 10 fish. Um, I went down to pick up the flasher and when I went down the bottom there, they were all around. So it's really promising, so hopefully another drift and another fish. Uh, ideally, if the boys could get one each, that would just be perfect, so we just keep trying.
It's only nine o'clock. <laughs> it's only nine o'clock. Really? Couple of hours in the water. We did a lot of drifts and the sharks are getting very, very friendly. We swear they almost organized an attack on us before for a bit there. So we're out of the water now. We're gonna just explore around this area a bit. We're so far out, so we wanna hang around while the weather's good. We might slip back past this spot and try for another dive, but we're pretty content with Jared. Got his wahoo, a beautiful shot on that. Jackson got a nice dolly. There are fish everywhere, but that's enough for this spot, I think, right now. So we're just gonna, just gonna have a little bit of a feed and a, a little bit of a chill, and we'll see what happens in a minute. I got wrinkly hands. Oh my god. You know what I reckon is, J-Man? I'm playing the dad bod. Dad bod cod. Dad bod cod. Dad bod cod. Dad bod tuna. <laughs> dad bod trevally maybe. Did this get eaten? Yeah. yeah. Oh. That was it getting eaten. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Sammy. Oh well. Had a moment. Get it up! Dog. Oh. <laughs> what do you think you're on? Go ahead! You can do it! Oh wow! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing! <laughs> you're getting spanked! <laughs> <-man>. <laughs> on the jig! Wow, that's a big fish! You're doing good, mate. You're doing good. I think you got him off the bottom. Oh! oh. It hurts. Damn it. Oh, wow. I wonder what that was. So good. Yeah! Oh, you're a good chance on this one. Come on, Daddy Mar. Hey, man. He needs the rod thing, man. Oh yeah, I'll get you a little. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good save. <laughs> the ghost save. Hey, fish. Damn it. <laughs> oh, good attempt. Good stuff, dude, man. <laughs> That's it, follow it. Go, go, get it up. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Oh, oh. oh. Up, up, up it. Come on, Sam. Oh, oh do it. Talk us through it. What do you reckon it is, Sam? I have no idea. Just go for it. Oh, oh Sammy, get it up. Get it up. 
Look at my back muscles. <laughs> hey. Oh, does he need, he needs a little. Uh, that is a little. Uh, I'm a strong. Oh, you. Oh, he lost uh. it. Woo. Well, we're getting spanked. Yeah. Well, we just got smoked, so we, we thought we'd pull up the jigs and uh, start steaming towards the islands. It's only 10 o'clock, so pretty much got another, a whole day, really. So we're gonna get back close to the land or to the islands, have a little bit of fish, maybe another dive. We might go for another jig on the way back in if, if we sound some ground and uh, maybe get something for lunch. That's probably the, uh, the only plan at the moment. Let's see what happens. Beautiful start to the morning. Wahoo sharks, dolphins, bit of fun on the fishing rods. Good start. Look at this guy, it's a beautiful sea snake. Oh, these guys can be aggressive actually. Wow, oh, he's looking at me. Sussing us all out. 100 meters of water we're in right now. And we found this guy. How bloody cool is that? That's such a beautiful snake. 100 meters, I can't believe that. That's a long swing up, swim up to get a breath, eh? The sea snakes can hold their breath up for two hours. So this guy is just coming up for a big breathe up and back down to 100 meters. That is cool. That is so cool. So bloody cool, really chill. Oh, this is the best ever. Oh, that was wicked. We just pulled up to a spot we've never ever been here before. The boys dropped the jigs down. We didn't expect anything, so we weren't even filming, and Jackson just got smoked. So we're hoping. Any, any head shakes? Yeah. Hopefully a big red man. That'd just be. Oh! The dad bod cod. Rankin. 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 No. It's a big dad bod cod. <laughs> oh, big Rankin. Wow. I reckon we might be able to get him back in. You got it. That's it. You got it. Oh, yeah, all the air's gone. So this guy came up with bowel trauma. We just popped him and uh, all the air's gone out. So Jackson's going to see if he can swim him away. Who thought that'd be a tasty treat anyway? Away he goes, eh? Yeah, look. Nice work, Jacko. Good fish. Come on, lads. Good release. You're up, Sam. Yeah, What's going I'm on? D-man? Good it's going. <laughs> Good way. Help me. Get him up. Fuck up. It's too strong. Hold it, hold it. D-man. It's a shark. Yeah, that's huge. Hey, what's that? Is that a no. That's probably what that sucker fish come off. Yeah. But it's rare for a shark to hit a jig like that. Nah, no, it's not. I think it started as a fish. Cod. Started as fish? Yeah, maybe a big cod grabbed it. Oh, you're gonna get him now. So we got ourselves a situation here. D-Man had a little fish on. We think a big cod ate it, and now it's spat the fish back out, and D-Man's back on. So he's just winding it up. Wow. Yeah. Does it have, does it have? Yeah, this side, all over the head. Put it, put it down. Oh, that's where it grabbed it. Yeah. Yeah, grabbed it there. It's been inside a cod's mouth. Yeah. Sammy's getting up him now. Yeah, Diong. Woo. It's got a little bit of weight to it, son. Yeah, it's got a... It's coming. It's another Rankin. You're kidding. I think oh. so. Oh, it is too. We found the Rankin school of destiny. Oh. Rankin honey hole. Oh, what's behind him? Oh, there's a sucker fish. Oh, he's got heaps of kick in him. He doesn't even have any bow trauma. Should be able to get this guy back in the water. Yeah, right there. <laughs> <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> oh, have a go at the conditions. We're just out at 70 and 80. Just going for a little cruise, looking for ground. And that's the kind of fluff that we're looking for. And uh, yeah, it's having a bloody good time. It's not even midday yet. It's 11.30 at the moment. We've done all this. We want to look for a little gold band or a red for uh, lunch. And then we'll start pushing in towards the 20s. Maybe go for another dive, sound some more ground out. We want to just, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's just so beautiful out here at the moment. Look at that. 
glass. Oh, what a specimen. Let's get bigger. Oh, Sam, this is it. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Snapperino. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Damn, that, that wasn't was my fault. Too. Are they tears? Lost everything. Who tied that knot? Oh. Not me. Who tied the knot? Wasn't my knot. <laughs> Who tied the knot? Who did you tie the knot? You have to get in the water. Why? You're you have to get in the water. <laughs> Take it off. You walk in the plank for that and I get to kick you off because the captain is disappointed. It's on the side of the boat, please, son. Piggy tail. Picking no. you. I don't worry. I'm sorry, mate. Jago, little fish down there. Get your ass out of here! No man died. Ah! <laughs> Damn the captain can't trust his crew around here. That's so funny. That is hilarious. <laughs> it's all good, Sammy. Oh, cool. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> Sick, he's over there. <laughs> Can you see, Brody? <laughs> he even put his hand over there. <laughs> Where the fin is. <laughs> I need to fill you in. What just happened? D Man slipped on the side of the boat there, caught himself, but snapped the rod accidentally. Oh. Hey, is it okay? Oh, he's, I mean, he's still fishing. Did you just get a hit? This is our last Shimano rod. We've snapped all like three or four of them, unfortunately. <laughs> no, I think that's wrapped. Oh no, you got it. Come on, D man. <laughs> Do it for the boys. Yeah, Oh, they're dollies. What? Yeah, they're dollies. No way. Yeah. Are they? What? Yeah, they're baby dollies. Oh. They're dolphin fish. They're the smallest dollies. Look at them. They're so cute and delicious. Where are they? Look. Right here. Oh. oh! Yes, Sammy! That's a good one! Shit! Wow! You are so strong! <laughs> Come on, Sammy! Up him! Hang on! Up him! Oh! oh that was a big I red! That was a big bit. How come it's snapping all the time? Yay! Oh! It. Got it. Yeah, look at that. Nibble, nibble. Oh. D-Man! D-Man! Double! Oh, Whoa. that's big! Wow! Get him up! Wow, D-Man! I got color. Whoa! Oh, this is on! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that's big! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wow! D-Man's got, got something man. a bit more special. That's the big red, D-Man. You're going to have to get it up. You're going to have to give it to her. Oh, oh, I got busted. <laughs> that was another red for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, it happens. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's off. See ya, mate. Is going to wind this up? Oh, <laughs> <there you go. laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, too much for me to handle. Oh. Eat it. Give a kiss. Kiss that. Watch out for the side. <laughs> 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 Alright. Yeet! 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 Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we just pulled up to the beach that wind's starting to come in and there's a storm brewing out the back there. The boys just have to pick off the boat. But we noticed up here that there's a turtle. Um, we're pretty sure it might be dead because it is super hot up here and it would have come up to nest and unfortunately didn't make its way back down so we're just gonna go check it out and see if it's if it is dead or not. Oh it is hot. Oh. Ah. 
I'm the only smart one. Right, oh, that's a good find. What's that? I'm in no rush, I got my shoes on. Unfortunately, this is the sad truth of nature. Not every creature makes it back to the water, especially turtles when they come up to nest. She would have been so exhausted. It's so hot and she would have just stopped here. And uh, rest easy, buddy. Storm. Whoa, up. Looking at that turtle. Coming across all this cable. All this rubbish looks like maybe from an old washed up boat. There's also heaps of fiberglass, but that's too big for us to remove. We just try and keep the beach cleaner than what it was when we got here. Um, these guys are camping or doing anything on these islands, just make sure you clean up your rubbish. Leave it exactly how it was. We're going to swim back to the boat and uh, keep sending it that way, probably back towards home because it is starting to blow up a bit, but we'll see what happens on the way back. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> Halfway back to the uh, ramp, and it's a bit blowy, but uh, nothing the boat can't handle. We're making good speed back, set on about 28 knots. It's all good, baby. I'll see you guys back at the ramp or back at mine. Yeah, we'll get it out. It won't yeah. if it's, you know, Oh, we're back. Yeah, we're back near the boat <laughs> ramp. <laughs> <laughs> So just emptying the esky out because one of the stomachs got like erupted or something and all the bile went through the water so we don't want to contaminate the other fish so we're getting rid of the water then put the ice back in and the fish will be fine. Then we're going to cook up a feed and just hang out here for the rest of the afternoon. Go back home. Just fill the Jared's uh, mahi and, and the... Uh, no, Jared's wahoo and T-Man's mahi. <laughs> nice work boys. That is it. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, is this the uh, cod that got eaten? It is. It's come out of the cod's mouth. Yeah. Beautiful size rank, and this can taste delicious. Who caught this, D-man? Yeah. That's why I quit. <laughs> Working with Sam like this, that's why I quit my job. Not for YouTube. <laughs> Get away from that. It's all tangled. And We've been here for 10 minutes and this is all you've done. Plain. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Feed me. That's a perfect size. Yeah, is, I'm actually really excited about eating this. Where's the cooker and stuff? A couple of worms in there. There's all in here. See these things here? I'm not yeah, telling right. you, Jared, I'm telling them what they are. These are worms. Jared knows that because it's science with Jared. He's <laughs> asking me for what they look. He's up here asking me for something this down. Where's that guy? I've never got to it before. We're stored at them. Jared's laughing. It's over tired. Water! There were a lot of uh, mistakes made today because we were so tired. A lot. A lot of boo-boos. Couldn't even catch a bloody frogfish. It was too quick. They're the slowest moving fish in the sea. Yeah, that was <laughs> Cooking with Sam! <laughs> it's got a great ring to it. <laughs> Sizzle. <laughs> it's not sizzling. Oh, that smells so yummy. <laughs> Very good work, Sam. I'm gonna eat tongs, someone. How are we going there, Sam? Yeah, looking good. Hard to flip without tongs. Oh, always been tongs. Alright, Sam, gentle. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, 
very bloody nice. These guys know how much we love our wraps out in the boat. This is just a feed to keep us going. When we get home and fill it up that wahoo, we are gonna cook up something maybe tomorrow. Oh, but that is beautiful. Never disappoint. Mm -mm, ever. Never ever. Say rad rad radical. La, 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 la. La, la. Feel those muscles. You actually did a really good job. Straight to the shoulders. Well yeah. Back at my place, we just got to get all the gear out of the boat. Feel the fish, it's been a bloody long day, that super early start. But that storm's actually like followed us over. Super overclassed. Nice and cool for the boys to get the filleting done. Uh, I got to wash the boat and we'll get straight into it, I guess. So, what were you saying about Wahoo before? So, Wahoo, uh, one of the fastest growing fish in the ocean, second to, or not second, but they're quite up there with dolphin fish. They grow their first meter in length within one year. So, and also they don't, they rarely grow older than 10 years old. So, this one here, one year, they don't grow older than 10. That's, so this you'd think one, they'd be dinosaurs, eh? This one, I reckon, we've got a total length of 1.1 on the dot, and that's 7.8. Could, be, One and a half could be less than two years old. Look at that. Wow, a couple of slabs there. Couple of slabs. Not much wasted. That's all that, there. that is so thin. <laughs> nice. Sammy and Jared just filling up the fish. D Man's washing the gear. The dogs are doing nothing. And I'm out the front here just washing the boat. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, our boat is a Genesis craft. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. As well as Mecca and Rain, we teamed up with them, the twin 200s, four strokes, absolute beast. Thank you to you guys as well. Without you guys, we wouldn't be doing anything like what we did today. So appreciate it. As well as all you guys at home, supporting us, liking, commenting, buying our merch. It really means a lot. And because of you guys, we can do what we do. So today was all because of that. And thank you so much. Oh man, I'm tired. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am not gonna lie to you guys, but square myself the hose. We'll get this done and uh, I don't really know what's gonna happen after this, but I'll, I'll keep filming and seeing what happens. So soft, isn't it? Tears. Yeah. But it doesn't cook soft. So, normally we'd glad wrap the fillets, but not good for the environment. So, <laughs> what we have here is eco-friendly freezer bags made out of sugar cane. What a big day. Hey Sam, what was your favorite part of today? <laughs> Watching T-Man follow. <laughs> Watching D-Man follow. <laughs> nah, I like the dolphins. The dolphins? Yeah. D-Man, what was your favorite part of today? The hammerheads for sure. The hammerheads? Yeah. Jared, what was your favorite part of today? The beetroot salad. <laughs> the beetroot salad. Oh. <laughs> AJ, what was your favourite part of today? Oh, working. Oh, it's awkward. Sorry. And uh, that's all. <laughs> all the crew are gone. It is now quarter to eight. And what pretty much I do from now on is I just go for all the footage, put it all on my computer, sort it all out, label it, and I'll start editing right now. So I'm going to sign out for today's big mission. I hope you enjoyed this bit more of a, I don't know, a vlogish style of what we do, um, start to finish of the day. And I'll catch you guys first thing tomorrow morning because it's going to continue on. I want to cook some of that wahoo up tomorrow 
for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I haven't figured it out yet, but I'll catch you guys first thing in the morning and we'll pick this up again. So I'll see you there. Have a good night, everyone. You. Hello. Oh, yeah, cool. Any fish? Uh huh. It's absolutely beautiful, huh? Nice breeze. Easy for you to fly off if you want to. What have you been doing today? Huh? What have you been doing? Oh. Oh, is this your brother coming? Oh. G'day, mate. What's his name? Oh. Oh, oh, hey, don't fight over me, guys. I'm friendly. We can talk to both of you. Oh, what's your name? Oh, oh, wow. He did what? No. No way. Ah, oh, it's absolutely beautiful morning. It's a big day yesterday, but I woke up super early, come out here, and uh, just met a few friends at the boat ramp. Oh, he's gone. Oh, what's he doing? Just going for a swim over there. What me and Strata are gonna do today, we're just gonna drop a ski in and go for a cruise first thing this morning. Uh, head back home, do a lot of editing for you guys, and then later on this afternoon, I wanna cook up that wahoo. So I thought I'd continue off the sort of vlog from this morning. I, I couldn't be stuffed filming all when I woke up and stuff. I was actually a bit of a zombie to tell you the truth. I didn't go to bed till late last night and obviously we got up super early the day before. But it's, um, yeah, let's get the ski ready, drop it in and go from there. Yeah, I'm definitely that weirdo that hangs underneath boat ramps when you come in and you always see that guy swimming and doing and talking to a camera. That's me. But I really want to make friends with this guy here. He's he's always here and I think he likes me. So we'll see what Hey uh hello? It's me again. I don't want to disturb. Don't you do a poo. Man, I'm just cruising today. I'm actually sitting in the aircon at the boat ramp because it is so hot outside and I am cooked from yesterday. So I thought I'd apply some zinc. Um, I also want to say, with Birds of Prey, it's so cool that you get the opportunity for them to approach you and come close. You don't want to push it. You don't want to go too far. You don't want to disturb them. You definitely don't want to try and grab them or do anything cowboyish like that. If they rock up to you, they do hang around public areas. They always like ramps and places where they could scab a fish or two um, and it's easy for them to hunt especially the juvenile ones like these guys but please respect them don't do anything stupid because I only got time for that so what's happening right now there's a cyclone cruising up the coast and the weather just goes absolutely bananas the wind doesn't know what it's doing it's humid it's hot it's like a cool breeze and there's all this different thing that goes on it's crazy what happens when a cyclone is forming and coming down the coastline so this the wind was blowing this way now it's blowing that way and it had a puff from this direction it's glassy ish here at the moment so before a squall comes in or something bloody changes i'm going to shoot down this way and go to one of my favorite uh diving spots just hop in the water and go for a swim i'll film it for you guys and take you in with me that squall come in out there we're just running away from it now we pulled into a little bit of protection um so we're going to call this mission off mission mission aborted we're going to sh try and slowly make our way back to the boat ramp i just feel real bad if i was going to be out here and get really rough and stride on the back even though she's really good on the ski it's just something i don't want to put her through so uh just pulling in for a break and uh, head back to the boat ramp whoa whoa <laughs> when I'm by myself like this, I just chuck the anchor out, anchor the ski near the boat ramp, run up, grab my car, bring my car down, uh, reverse it in, come grab the ski, pull the anchor in, go around and put the ski on. It's a little bit of a pain, but it's better than nothing. So I'm just gonna run up and grab my car and then hook the ski on, bring her up, and uh, we'll go back into town.
you guys don't see when I film is I do a lot of driving between spots. So some days I can drive up to 80 to 100 kilometers out of where my town is and then launch the ski along beaches or different places depending on the weather. So yeah, it's about a 30 minute drive back to my house from where I was. And yeah, I just sort of <laughs> talk to Strider and listen to music and talk shit on the, on the way back in. I do a lot of stuff by myself too because all the boys, they work. They work Monday to Friday still. Well, we just rolled home and the storm sort of followed us. It's coming over right now. So I'm gonna grab some Wahoo out of the freezer and uh, defrost that. And obviously I still do all my own editing. So for the next few hours up until the late afternoon, I'm gonna be inside doing my editing. So I'll check back in with you guys when I cook up that Wahoo in a couple of hours. I'll see you soon. What are you doing, Ed? Oh. <laughs> oh. New plan formulated while I was in there editing. Sammy and Hannah are going to meet me down the beach. We're going to be looking for baby turtles and Sammy's going to cook up a feed of Wahoo. So all i got to do is hop in the car and drive down to this beach. Come on, Strider. How'd you get? And meet them there. That wind sort of backed off. That storm's pushed over us now. It's a bit overcast still. Uh, this cyclone's forecasted to come past us tomorrow midday. It's not going to do any major damage because it's so far out to sea, but it still does so much weird stuff with the weather. And maybe we'll be in for an epic sunset. Oh, we have arrived. It's absolutely beautiful moment. Hannah and Sam aren't here. Before I let Strider out, there is not one footprint here. It's absolutely beautiful. Are you ready? Go on, Ed. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Wow. Look who it is. Hello, Bob. Bob. Say it. Woo, we have fire, baby. <laughs> we got fire, baby. Ah. Get him up. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at that bloody table. Yeah, how good. Wow. <laughs> You're puffed out. Whoa. You're trying to not be puffed out, but I can Adam, hear it. Good ass. Good ass. <laughs> oh, the fish is nearly ready, so. Got a salad there and just some bread, so I think it's um, Wahoo and Salad Sangers. It's gonna be delicious. Very close to being done. The tiger shark right out in front of us there. Did ya? Stop it. <laughs> you put ceramic in there. Alright. Fresh wahoo. Beautiful sunset. Brady eating before anyone started making the same. Mm. Oh, this is good. Good? Nice. Tastes like chicken. Southern fried chicken? <laughs> wow, man. Sick. I'm gonna make a sandwich. We're good, isn't it? Wow, it's really good. Is that hot? <laughs> oh! <laughs> so hot, it's burning my insides. Uh. Wow, it's gotta be one of my favorite eating fish. It's just so good. Happy birthday, Bob. Happy uh, birthday, Bobby. Bob's four years old today. It's gonna be a bit sandy there, Bob. Mm. Happy birthday. Bob's trying to cover. <laughs> she can't. That's nice. 
Ja, ja. Okay. Yep. Ooh, those are smashed too, Wahoo Sangers. So full. The sunset is absolutely ridiculous. We're just gonna go for a walk now, look for some turtles, take it all in. Oh, what a bloody couple of days, hey? Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, bit of extended version of what we normally do. Uh, leave a comment below and tell me if you like this. The longer episodes, the more stuff I put in, the more like day-to-day -day stuff that I do. Um, yeah. You might as well come with us till the sun goes down. No. Oh, unbelievable. Wow. There's the mama returning back into the sea. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh. She's cruising. Well guys, that's it for another episode. What a beautiful, beautiful afternoon that was just to finish the epic couple of days. And the boat with the boys, sea snakes, dolphins. Jared got his wahoo that he's been after for so long. And just a really, really good time. Lots of laughs. Um, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Thanks for everything. Thank you for all your support.